Welcome to our lesson about using the arc tool. Let's begin with a sketch on the top plane. Here's the arc command. We've got three methods for arc creation. Center point, tangent, and three point. Let's learn how all three work and we'll start with the center point arc. The first click establishes the center of the arc. The second click determines the radius. And the third point establishes the length of the arc. Now let's try the three-point arc. The first click establishes the coordinates of the first point. The second click establishes the length of the arc. And with click number three, we determine the radius of the arc as well as the direction of the arc. Let's try the tangent arc. We'll select a point for tangency. Now I've created an arc tangent to an existing arc. At this point, we can right-click and select to close the tool. Let's check out a few more options for the tangent arc tool. Let's begin by creating a line. Select. Activate the tangent arc tool. Here I've got an arc tangent to this line at this point. Now let's say I want to create an arc that's perpendicular to this line at this point. I go back to the origin point and start moving the cursor up or down. If I want to switch the direction of the arc, I mouse back to the origination point of the arc and then move the mouse in the direction where I want the arc created. Let's create a second arc and right-click and select to close the tool. Another way to create a tangent arc, let's start with a line. Now I'll mouse away from the line and then back to the point. Notice that the tool automatically switched to the arc tool. Again, back to the point. To switch back to the line tool, just right click and select switch to line. And the line tool is restored. We can switch back to the arc tool with a right click, switch to arc. Right click and select to close the tool. And this concludes our lesson about using the ARC tool.